Hello, Toya. Thank you Hello. for joining me. <laughs> it's so good to see you. It's been so long. Oh, absolutely. But listen, Toya Wilcox, you are a celebrated musician, singer, songwriter, actress, producer, author. You have released over 20 albums, written two books, appeared in over 40 stage plays and 10 feature films. You are truly multi-talented. Are you relaxing just a little during lockdown? Oh, such a good question because <laughs> I, I don't know about you, but I'm getting about 20 email a day that start with now you have nothing to do will you i've never been busier yes. um, we, we know we can't get the cleaner in we, we're cooking our own food we, we live in a market town so we were always able to pop out to a restaurant or a cafe at lunchtime and that saw us for the day so we're now um we've gone fully vegetarian Oh. Uh, I cook at lunchtime and it's it's quite a meal. It takes about two hours to prep. Then we have cleaning jobs for the day. <laughs> and, and then I have about 20 internet jobs to do, like doing voiceovers for adverts, voiceovers for computer games, films for t um, TV programs. It's, it's busier than ever. And I don't know if you're discovering this, I'm now not only the artist, I'm the camera person, <laughs> the microphone person, the makeup person, the hair person. It's just, oh. I know, I know, it's extraordinary, is it? I am exactly the same as you, very, very busy. Um, but I have to say we're lucky that my husband Patrick helps me with the technicals. I noticed Robert Fripp, your wonderful husband, helped you. <laughs> and I've also noticed your amazing dances on, on a Sunday. I don't know if you just stick to a Sunday, but they are wonderful. Strictly is going to come knocking at your door because they've been an internet sensation. I know, it started, um, I'm supposed to be on tour now with Hazel O'Connor, which and it broke my heart that we've had to move that. So I thought about three Sundays ago, I'll wear the costume. And I wanted my character, because I always create a character for a tour, even though this is a rock tour. I wanted my character to be like a, a demented beauty queen. So I actually had a prom dress and it's phenomenally beautiful. And I invented this kind of, real strictly dance and it flew we're about to hit a million on it a million views wow. which is a force for me so we've decided every congratulations Sunday, <laughs> thank you we've decided every sunday before lunch we will post a new film oh. and my goodness this coming sunday we have a humdinger a humdinger yes it's oh, funny. but I will tune in. But you, what I love is that you take it, both of you, take it very, very seriously. I mean, all that thing with the rose and your mouth, <laughs> and you just, you just go for it, which is, which is how it has to be and the best. You know, you never play the humour, never play the humour. And with my beautiful husband, I don't have to because... <laughs> He's the most brilliant guitarist through his fingers. You know, he can count, he can play any speed. He can't do it through the body. <laughs> so trying to teach him the tango, it took seven days. <laughs> and even then he was getting it wrong. And even then he dropped me. Oh, um, I didn't it's, notice. <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually for us as a couple, been a wonderful experience in tolerance. Oh. In a positive way. Fantastic. Now listen, you've obviously, I, I, I suspect you are full of pearls of wisdom, great advice that you've been given in your amazing life. Would you like to share one or, or two with me now and with, with everybody watching this? Yes. Are these pearls of lockdown wisdom or pearls of growing older wisdom? Very good question. Uh, th they're actually pearls of growing older wisdom, but okay. if they are pertinent for lockdown, even better. But they don't have to be just to do with lockdown. They're toy as wisdom. You know, you might have been told something by, you know, your grandma when you were eight that stayed with you forever. Well, I, I never knew my grandparents and I wish I did. But what I would say is always plan ahead. 
Yeah. It really is not a waste of time to think ahead and plan ahead. It's uh, with my parents who I cared for for 10 years, the last 10 years of their lives, made no plans. They did not even think about the future. And my feeling is, it's such a privilege to grow older. It, it's nothing to do with being left behind by society. Yes, that happens, but I think it's such a privilege that we get to grow older because we become more of who and what we are. And what I mean by this is always explore what you've become as a result of your past. So this morning, um, we're very lucky, we have a garden, we're on the River Avon. I go down and I thought I was sitting there for an hour and three hours later I go back to the house and think, where's it gone? But allow yourself to go inside we, we so often think outside of the body and I'd say allow yourself to go inside and think about the journey and the path you've made and why. And it's so informative and I think we are on a continual developing journey. So that's the spiritual side mm, of my pearl of wisdom. I love that. The other one is in lockdown, do not have anything in the house you cannot resist. It's just, it's, it's too much. And all my friends are saying they've put weight on. And it's like, well, if you're going to stock up on chocolate and cakes and the, the lovely, tasty, um, manufactured snacks, you're in big trouble. Yep. So what we do once a week, my husband's been very good. He's done the shopping. I'm not allowed out because I, I've had pneumonia a few times. Mm. So I'm in complete lockdown. Um, we only get vegetables. That's all we've got in the house. Wow. Uh, um, we have to be inventive with it. There's some lunch times where I just think I don't want to eat anything. <laughs> I want a donut. <laughs> we, we kept our weight down. We're able to do these fantastic dances and get in ridiculous costumes. And I would say to anyone, do not put anything in your house that distracts you as a temptation. Because we're weak we're all yeah. weak i'm weak and with so much time on our hands and the focus is so much more on food i mean uh, for me um, patrick is is the cook in our house but i'm the shopper because he's had pneumonia as well and i don't buy anything as you say that that will i've even still got my easter egg because I'm, i've actually managed to lose weight which is miraculous yes. but then it's probably because i've been doing so much more walking and cycling you know i never used to go out every day doing doing the um levels of exercise that we're doing um but, but I absolutely agree with you. If there is a packet of biscuits, you'll get that weak moment, especially if you've had a glass of wine or something, and you'll just think, oh, heck, and just go for it and devour it. It's four in the afternoon with me. I, oh. I always, it's a weak point. So what I've done, I have a tiny jar of jelly beans, and I allow myself four at, at the most, and it actually becomes enough. <laughs> And, and the thing with jelly beans, there's no fat. Yes, it is sugar. But then it gives me that pep for the rest of the afternoon. Yeah. And I do a bit of cleaning. What a good idea. I used to love jelly beans and I haven't had them for ages. Do you get a whole variety of flavours or do you yes. really like coconut or blueberry or... Well, I do love single flavours. There's actually a chocolate flavour one and you can't get it in isolation. I hate <laughs> cinnamon, hate cinnamon. Um, but I, I actually don't love jelly beans, which is why I've got them. So I can give myself the sweet kind of boost with something I know I'm not going to sit down and eat the whole lot. Mm. It's always been my dieting secret. If you want to lose weight, only allow yourself to eat things you really dislike. <laughs> it, it, no, I mean, nothing takes your appetite away more than looking at a plate of food thinking, oh, I hate this. <laughs> oh, Toya, I love it. Uh, just to finish, have you always been this incredibly disciplined? Because what's coming across is, is, is great strength of character. I, I, when the lockdown started, I, I was completely lost. I, I, I didn't know how to organise my thoughts. I was angry because this career-wise would have been the zenith of my, uh, my career. 
um, and everything. I mean, every all my albums are being re-released this year, touring the whole year. I mean, so much going on, and it's all gone. So I, I, I was dealing with anger, dealing with grief, and we've lost people we couldn't see in the end, very close people. Mm. My sister's working on the front line. So it's been, the, the last four weeks for me um, have been trying to kind of maintain to some de degree a, a, a mental balance. Mm. And I realized that this is an amazing opportunity to address everything that I've never had time for. So timetable is really important mm. and you keep to that timetable. For instance, we only eat at lunchtime. Then after that, we allow ourselves a very small snack at six o'clock and therefore we've maintained our weight. And then in the middle of all that, if I feel myself going stir crazy, I go and do the garden. Yeah. But most of the time, I've written five children's books, which, you know, these are little kind of rhyme books, and I've illustrated them. During so lockdown? Then, during lockdown? Sorry, yes. sorry you've written them during lockdown? Yes. Wow. Yes. I just carry this notepad with me everywhere, and I, all my artwork is in the kitchen, and I do a drawing a day, and a kind of... As you probably would guess by looking at our dance films, I'm very much into stuff and nonsense. So I've invented this this character based on my husband, who, who I mean, th these are literally just sketches to remind me what to do. But it's about a little bee, a little bee based on my husband who <laughs> wants to be a unicorn. So... I mean, that, that's not the book illustration. The book illustration is more like the tray behind you of the little girl with the um, okay, wheelbarrow. Yeah. But uh, this, this is my Bible of books. So always carry a notebook. Always. Wow. Toya, thank you. You are, you really are phenomenal. Multi-talented just doesn't even touch it. Um, I wish you the greatest of luck. I, I hope um, that the albums are, are available, uh, that people can get hold of them if they're all being re-released. And, and I wish you su so much success in every area. You really are absolutely inspirational. Thank you. It's so good to see you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for joining me today, darling.